Welcome to River City Live. We've got a full studio and beer at hand. So things are going to just go up from there. I can't, <laughs> can't see a downside to having beer on the show. But we're preparing. These yeah. will be these filmed. Are, just these are bit. really small. These are tiny little cups. I feel like a giant. But anyway, there will be a, a purpose for those coming up here. So if you're in uh, one of the four counties where school started back up, then uh, happy day two. If you are in Duval County, then you're just patiently waiting until Monday, and we'll still continue with a lot of back-to-school topics and good times. So everything go okay at your place. For us, uh, it was a great day for back-to-school. The girl child is the only one we were sending back this year because... So it's pretty easy? Yeah, because teen boys going back to college. I think we... Uh, probably have this down pat because I've never been home in the morning for the whole back to school sure. thing uh, because I'm at the radio station at Gator Country Radio in the morning so I've never had to actually be there and the times that I have been home whether I'm on vacation yeah. the kids have actually told me I do it wrong <laughs> they're like you're messing this all up you do this completely wrong you're breaking so up the rhythm it's better if I'm not there to get them off to school but what about the uh, the yeah. Peyton boys you know all in all it was okay when I came back to get that report like how was the first day I got in Okay. And then the other one's like, boring. <laughs> that was kind of uh, it. And I was trying to ask more questions just to say, you know, like, how was your teacher? Any friends in class? That's because you have boys. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. That is exactly what it is. So it's not it that is. it was a bad first day. It was kind of like par for the course and what I expect. Uh, today, I think, you know, they're going to be more on track of, you know, waking up and just mm -hmm. going through the motions. So I think that's better. But yeah, all in all, I'll take it as a victory for the first day. And yeah. then last night, though, my wife had to go out to get more school supplies. Because I said this yesterday, you get a list yeah. before school starts. And then there's more you need. Exactly. Once you get that teacher assigned to you, you get a whole nother list. And she was at Staples, actually, last night. And there was, like, 50 people waiting in line to get, like, their last-minute stuff. You know, so, but, uh, but again, we're back on track and school's in for us and another week for the other counties mm -hmm. that kick in. I still contend, though, that whole thing with the boys, you're never going to hear anything about school right. with That's, all boys like yeah. that. Because I've already gone through the whole four years of high school with my son and heard nothing. I didn't get to live through <laughs> high school with him because he doesn't share anything. Now my daughter is going into 10th grade and I'm getting to enjoy all of it, the clubs and, yeah. the, and the dances and that because she, she tells me everything. So yesterday from the time I got home until the time I went to bed, I was hearing about her day. Yeah, so I guess I kind of miss that. My wife's kind of sad about that too because Aww. they do. They put up like she, that barrier like, fine. Jamie, you can good. come over <laughs> and just, I'll, you know, I'll pour you a glass of wine, sit back and just listen because it goes, it'll go on a while. <laughs> Now, did you catch any of the Olympics last night? Uh, just here and there. I know the, uh, the the men of the house are watching the basketball. Yeah, that was actually a really good game. You know, I just, I'm used to USA just dominating for, you know, just mm -hmm. every quarter, right? And this one was a close game against Australia. Australia actually has five NBA players. They do. So it made it real. Towards the ending, USA pulled it out with, I think, 10 points. But it's still, it's actually fun to watch a real competition because over the weekend, I think they played like China and they won by like mm -hmm. 50 or 60 points. It was just a blowout. So that was kind of weird. And then I watched some beach volleyball. That was fun. You know, that, that's mm -hmm. interesting to watch. It's one of those things you watch it just once every four years and afterwards you don't even know. Like, I've had enough. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. So okay. got my dose. Uh, and then locally, Ryan Murphy, he qualified for an event tonight. So he's still doing well, the mm -hmm. local swimmer here from Jacksonville. So it's always fun to have that, you know, have a name from the Jacksonville area. It's doing good things. Yeah, definitely. And uh, speaking of swimmers, did you see Ryan Locke? He had dyed his hair platinum or yes. he bleached it out. And because he did that, now it's turning green yeah. from the chlorine. And anybody who's ever had blonde hair knows that if you uh, go too blonde and you're planning to be in the pool <laughs> quite a bit, you are looking at some green hair. So anyway, uh, there is a, uh, a new Girl Scout cookie coming out. They're celebrating, the Girl Scouts are, uh, how many years of Girl Scout cookies. And by, by announcing this new flavor now, how funny that yesterday was National S'mores Day. And we actually made a s'more uh, creme brulee here on the show. But now Girl Scout cookies will be uh, using that as one of their flavors. Now, there are two different varieties of these s'mores cookies that they've showed. One of them doesn't even mention having marshmallow in it. So I hope if it turns out that it's a regional decision on which ones we get, yeah. that at least we get the nice marshmallowy s'more cookies. That actually, that looks pretty good to me. One of the things that I do is I'll put a bowl of milk and I'll put my cookies in there. Like I'll cereal? Kind of like Just cereal, yeah. Pour and the that, whole thing? That would really work out. That'd be delicious. The s'mores cookie and some milk. So that's just well, the way I do it. Well, if you have a hummingbird heart, if you have a hummingbird heart like Mark, like Mark <laughs> does, you can do stuff like that. Not gain a pound, eat a bowl of cookies for <laughs> breakfast. 
<laughs> I don't do that every day. I actually, I, I do it at night. I think that's when I eat. Oh, that's even better. Right. That's even better. For and it you. doesn't, it doesn't affect my sleep. Now, here's something that's interesting. When we talk about sleep all the time, I'm fascinated with it because just our schedules. We're up pretty early. Well, if you get good sleep and your wife gets good sleep, then that means that you will actually have a good marriage. And that kind of makes sense to me. But they did a study, and it was on newlyweds, and that's what they did. They just tested how many hours of sleep that you received, right, you mm -hmm. got, and then you had to answer questions based on the quality of your partner. Like, were you getting on each other's nerves and stuff like mm -hmm. that? It turns out, sleep, well, good marriage. Yeah, okay. and, that, and that makes sense. It makes know? perfect sense. Yeah, I don't know why not. that study was actually needed, but... Yeah, that's from the uh, Department of Obvious Solutions. <laughs> uh, that's just crazy. Obviously, obviously, if you are somebody that is well-rested, you're less crabby, and you're easier to get along with. So, well, I think this has to with newlyweds, though, which is kind of funny. You shouldn't yeah. have any relationship problems within your first year of marriage, if you are, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's all about a positive attitude, isn't it? Hey, have you seen this? It's a bus stop at Southside near Bay Meadows Road at a Publix. There's a uh, actual bus stop on the JTA route, and it has sticky notes all over it. The sticky notes are were anonymously placed, and they all have positive positive messages on them. So these positive messages that have been inspiring people and nobody really knows who has actually put these sticky notes up, but everybody really, really appreciates well, it's a great it idea, too. Right? So. Cause it's kind of like motivation and yeah. nice things to talk about, right? Yeah, While you're waiting you got, for the bus. You gotta love it. You gotta love the sticky notes. They say simple things like one just says laugh, Another one says things like, have a great day. You know, just really simple, positive notes. You know, I think I'm going to leave you some sticky notes on your desk. Would you? Yeah, just like nice ones. All right. Does that sound good? I'm totally ready for that. All right. Well, that, that would get you in a good mood. And here's something else that would get you in a good mood. There's a great beer fest happening in Hemming Park. And right now, here to talk about it is Jim and Todd. Jim, you're with Hemming Park. Yes, sir. And Todd, you're a distributor. Correct. With all these great flavor of beers down here that we'll get into in a second, right? So, Jim, can you tell me about the event that's happening this weekend? Sure. We're, it's our second annual beer festival. It's on Saturday, August 13th. And it's um, from 6 until 9 p.m. And if you buy the VIP ticket, you can get in an hour early at 5. So you can have an easier... Um, tasting of the beers, and then we also have a uh, free catering by Biscottis for the VIP guests as well. So just to clarify this, when you get your ticket, mm -hmm. right, you'll get like a cup or something like this, you'll and that get means one of those you could have as much beer as you would like to try Correct. during that time period. Yes, and it's uh, $40 for general admission and 60 for VIP. All right, that so, sounds like a nice So what are we time. looking at here? Where are these beers from? Uh, what we have here is actually not a beer. This is a cider, McKenzie's. Oh, okay. And it's actually owned by somebody you may have heard of. His name is Shad Khan. Oh, oh, that guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. franchise here in town. Something like uh, that. But this is a Pumpkin Jack, perfect for the season, and this is the Black Cherry. Full Sail is out of Hood River, Oregon. If you ever get an opportunity, go visit the brewery in Hood River. Absolutely gorgeous, a sale, uh, surf, sailing capital of the world. This is new. Uh, just came to Jacksonville within the past week or two. Uh, high Heel Brewing, made by women, for women, and it's also made in Florida, in Lakeland. So... Uh, we got this and a whole lot more. Uh, we've got, uh, like I said, this was from Florida, and we also have Orman Brewing, so we got two Florida breweries re uh, represented. This sounds like a really fun event because I like to sample different types of beer. Me I don't want to commit to one, any? especially if there's so many different flavors out there, so it's sounds like a lot of fun. And it's also dog friendly, correct? Yes, you can, um, dogs are um, allowed, and it's 21 and up unless you're in a stroller. So. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Just to be sure, because that if they're, you're in a stroller, it's pretty clear that you're right. not going to try to pull one over on you. No, right? that's no carding them. So, yeah, okay. we're, yeah. so now, there's also going to be music. Um, there'll be music. Gov Club is playing, um, and they'll be there all night. All night. They're a nice local band that um, performs downtown for us in Art Walk pretty often. May I try that that uh, cider because sure. that sounds like it would be really sure really good for the morning. Mm -hmm. You know, good morning yep. cider. Okay. Thanks awesome. First. Thank you. Pumpkin oh, jack. Oh, oh. This That's, is the pumpkin okay. jack? Correct. Okay. Ooh. Just right before fall. Right, right for the season. Mm. And this is it's Shad Khan's? Yes. Okay. This Shad seems Khan's like good. it could be rather dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's also um, really good. good with food. Um, for uh, Oktoberfest, uh, uh, we have a restaurant that um, poaches apples in it. Mm -hmm. and, and Speaking of Shad Khan, 
Do you uh, happen to have a, yeah, a, mustache, a, a mustache tattoo on your finger? <laughs> I, thought, I thought I noticed no, I that. I was just just curious. <laughs> you know, I was Speaking just curious Sean, about that. You know, yeah, that's really good. So this is great. Thank you very much. Also, for there's a this. promo code that we have too. Correct? Yes, if oh. um, River City Five, River City and the number five. If you use that online at HemmingPark.org/beerfest, you'll get five dollars off your purchase for the event. All right. Well, Jim and Todd, thanks again for coming on. The event is this weekend at Hemming Park. Starts at six o'clock. Six o'clock and five for VIP. All right. All right. We'll be back. Again. Cheers. Cheers. We'll be back right after this.